Congratulations, Gator. You made it. You're a graduate of the University of Florida. As you venture out into your professional life, please remember the University of Florida has trained you well and you can be competitive with any graduate in the country. When you look back on this experience, you're going to know that this was a wonderful time of your life. Enjoy the day, enjoy your family, and go Gators! Mike Finney and Charlie here uh, in California. Just wanted to give a shout out to my family for all their support and encouragement through these last five years to finish up this degree. Uh, truly proud to be a, an official Florida Gator. Um, and from Charlie and me both, uh, chomp chomp, go Gators. Good afternoon, and welcome to the University of Florida College of Health and Human Performance Commencement Ceremony for the recipients of the Doctor of Philosophy, Master of Science, and Bachelor of Science degrees. I'm Michael Reed, the Dean of the College. We'll begin the ceremony with the singing of our national anthem led by Ms. Michelle Smith, Assistant Dean for Inclusion in the College of Health and Human Performance and also the Levin College of Law. Please stand and join in singing. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hail at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watched or so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave. Thank you, Michelle. And thanks to the audience for singing along. Please be seated. I would now like to introduce President Kent Fox. Greetings, graduating students in the class of 2020. And on behalf of the members of the UF Board of Trustees, our distinguished faculty, and our entire university community, congratulations. We are so proud of all of you who share in this momentous occasion. We have 2,664 graduating students this summer, including students from the District of Columbia, Puerto Rico, and 47 states. We have graduating students from 68 countries on six continents, from Argentina to Bangladesh, Chile to Cyprus, India to Ireland, Nepal to the Philippines, and Turkey to Zimbabwe. 
We have a 19-year-old graduating with a BS in public relations and a 70-year-old graduating with a BS in advertising. We have 235 students who have earned their UF degrees via UF Online, 151 first-generation college students, and 224 students who will proudly join other family members or multiple generations of Gators in earning their UF diplomas. Many, many congratulations to all. As a father of four grown children, I know how important this moment is for families and graduates. I congratulate and thank the family members and the friends for your support and your devotion to these graduates. Members of the class of 2020, I wish you success, happiness, and personal fulfillment in the years ahead. We at the University of Florida will always remember and care for you, and we will always cheer for you. Again, congratulations and enjoy the ceremony. Thank you, President Fox. We're here to celebrate the class of 2020, our newest graduates from the College of Health and Human Performance. Congratulations, graduates. We thank the families and friends attending today's ceremony for their generous support of these graduates. We also encourage our graduates to thank those who have helped them to where they are today. In this extraordinary year, our graduates experienced the emergence of the Black Lives Matter movement, the COVID-19 pandemic, and the resulting economic disruption. Yet our students persevered. They succeeded in their educational journey, and they have earned their degrees. Here are some facts about our graduates. Today, we'll be awarding 211 degrees, 12 PhDs, 27 masters, and 172 bachelor's degrees. Our graduates represent 10 different countries and 21 of these United States. 20% of our graduates, that's one in every five, have earned their degrees online. And importantly, a number of our graduates are being commissioned into the armed services or have served previously. These men and women have shown their commitment to preserving our nation and guaranteeing our freedom. On behalf of the college, I thank those graduates and extend our sincere appreciation for your service to our country. Each year, our college recognizes HHP faculty and staff for outstanding service to our students by making two awards. Our tradition is to recognize these award recipients at graduation. This year, Dr. Suzanne Sneed Murphy has been voted our 2020 Teacher of the Year. She is a double Gator with two HHP degrees. Dr. Sneed Murphy is also a faculty member in the Department of Health Education and Behavior, where she serves as the undergraduate coordinator. She currently teaches exercise therapy for individuals with disabilities, methods in community injury prevention and control, and women's health issues. In addition, Ms. Sarah Eberhardt is our 2020 recipient of the Charles S. Williams Service Award, which recognizes a faculty or staff member who has demonstrated outstanding service to the college. Ms. Eberhardt joined HHP in 2008 as an academic advisor in the Department of Tourism, Recreation, and Sport Management. In 2011, she accepted a director position in the Dean's Office, where she is instrumental in helping our students navigate the college experience. Congratulations to both of these individuals. We're very grateful for their contributions to HHP. And now it is my honor to introduce Dr. Benny Vaughn, the father of sports massage with over 40 years experience in the profession. He's also a member of our college's Alumni Hall of Fame. As a student, Mr. Vaughn was a track and field letterman and only the fifth black athlete ever to compete for the University of Florida. He graduated from our college in 1985 with a Bachelor of Science in Health Science Education 
And Mr. Vaughn then went on to become a licensed massage therapist and a certified athletic trainer. He was on the sports medicine staff of the USA track and field team at four different Olympic games in Atlanta, Athens, Beijing, and London. In 2014, he opened the Benny Vaughn Athletic Therapy Center in Fort Worth, arguably the finest city in the state of Texas. There he provides quality hands-on care for his clients and is known for his engaging approach to teaching. Mr. Vaughn and his wife, two-time HHP graduate, Dr. Joan Carroll, are lifelong supporters of our college. Mr. Vaughn will deliver his speech remotely from Texas. And now, welcome Mr. Vaughn. It's an honor to have you with us. Greetings, graduates of the University of Florida, College of Health and Human Performance. I am thrilled to speak with you today on this special day, graduation. You have done the work, you have earned the privilege, and now the world awaits you. Success is difficult, but it's worth it. And you will discover that worth with your degree. Live your dream and share your passion for all that you love with all people. Each day can be whatever you want it to be. It can be whatever you want it to be because your external world is created by the internal decisions that you make for yourself. We live in a world of thought. Everything around us began as a thought and any situation in the world can be changed when individuals change. You have changed because of your college experience at the University of Florida. Think abundance, think opportunities, think opportunities to give, opportunities to express gratitude. Serve what you are passionate about. Make it your life's work. Make decisions and operate from those decisions. First you have thoughts, then you have feelings, then you must take action. Always supplement your thoughts with personal action, with creative action. Always look for the good. Look for the good and fix your attention on what you love because that passion will drive you to great accomplishments. Make opportunities welcome by maintaining your University of Florida experience at the forefront of your life. Your University of Florida experience will be with you for your lifetime. Friendships made, imagination inspired, and of course, a UF Gator for life. There is nothing in each day that you cannot find good in. Always look for the good. Always look for the good. Do what you can with what you have where you are. Your expectations of the world after graduation is your expectation of yourself. You graduates are sources of innovation for our society. Be rigorous with your thinking. Nourish your potential. Think about society and others and how your actions will impact those whom you love, your family, your grandparents, your parents, your classmates, your teammates, your professors, your mentors, all those who have helped you to discover what you would love. Beginning today, keep a notebook, 
keep a notebook of all ideas generated in your mind. Diversity in your education is and will be your strength in life moving forward and creating change for the good of all. As you graduate and begin this new phase of your life's journey, I encourage you to come from the dream that got you to the University of Florida. The degrees that you have earned from health and human performance will have a profound impact on our society. Ask yourself these questions when faced with making a decision. Ask yourself, what would I love? Ask yourself, would I want the world to know about this? Lastly, ask yourself, would all people benefit from better health and wellness? Always be grateful. Always smile. Always know that if there is a problem, there is a solution. A problem cannot exist without a solution existing. It's a universal law of nature. We get to solutions by listening, not just waiting our turn to talk. Listen, learn, engage. Engage the problem and together we will discover the solution. Guaranteed, the solution is there. It does require education, experience, and listening. When listening include generous amounts of respect, courtesy, and dignity. With this, we all benefit. A society is judged by how it educates its young. We can do this. I am confident, I am confident in this generation of college graduates that you will succeed, that you will listen, that you will engage, that you will achieve a level of health, wellness, and social justice that this country has never seen before. The University of Florida is a diverse community of thought. We live in a thought world. We live in a thought universe. As you go forth to contribute to society, your personal actions must supplement your knowledge and your thoughts. Take personal action. It must be done to supplement your thoughts. Do this for me. Do this for you. Do this for all of us. If you see something, do something. If you hear something, say something. If you read something, write something. Leverage your higher education from the University of Florida and be the difference. Congratulations, graduates. Good job. Well done. Go Gators. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good luck. Best wishes. Thank you for your address, Mr. Vaughn. We now invite Blake Hutchins to deliver remarks on behalf of the graduating class. Mr. Hutchins is graduating with a Bachelor of Science in Applied Physiology and Kinesiology. He's from Leesburg, Florida, with aspirations for a career in neurosurgery. He's currently in the process of finalizing an honors thesis under Professor David Valancourt, which focuses on neuromelanin MRI and Parkinson's disease. Welcome, Mr. Hutchins. Everyone will remember the graduating class of summer 2020 if I was told when I came to UF that a pandemic would sweep the world and my graduation was going to be virtual, I don't think that I would have believed it. These trying times are a challenge for us all. However, this does not change the fact that like every graduating health and human performance class before us, 
we made it. We stood unified against this challenge and persevered. We found a way. Whether you were in your apartment in Gainesville or back home with family, you proved your ability to adapt and overcome. Hand in hand with the great staff of the College of HHP, we continued to learn and succeed. Regardless of what's happening in the world, you made it. Congratulations. Congratulations to you. Congratulations to our loved ones for supporting us along the way. And congratulations to our staff for succeeding at guiding us into the future. Many of us have suffered or know those who have suffered recently in these trying times. A multitude of people validly fear to leave their homes during this unprecedented pandemic. My aunt, in the middle of this pandemic, began experiencing vertigo and intense headaches. Believing that it may have been a migraine, she waited and hoped that the symptoms would subside. She collapsed one day, and it turned out that she had a massive stroke. Her daughter came to my mother, who has been an ER nurse for many years, with the MRI scans. I was called over for my opinion. I didn't know how much information I could provide. I'm simply an undergraduate. But as I took a closer look at the MRI scans, I recognized the lobes of the brain and their functions thanks to professors such as Dr. Algren and Dr. Wynn. I saw what areas were affected and, and informed my cousin the best I could. She then asked me if I thought there was any hope of recovery. I learned more about the functions and abilities of the nervous system thanks to professors such as Dr. Ryan, Dr. Mani, and Dr. Borsa. I informed my cousin about neuroplasticity, the miraculous ability of the brain to rewire itself following injury. It may not have been much, but my cousin thanked me with tears streaming down her face. It's moments like these that show me that I made the right choice coming to the college of HHP and solidify my dream to become a physician. I am proud to say that my aunt is recovering and was recently able to return home for the first time since her stroke. Like her, the world will one day be on the road to recovery. As this happens, we are all needed. To my peers who, like me, wish to use their knowledge of the human body to become a physician, I implore you to look upon the physicians, PAs, and nurses who stand before you, giving it their all to stand at the front lines against the pandemic. Add your knowledge, courage, and motivation to theirs. Think about all of those close to you who owe their lives to a physician. Go forth, put on that white coat, give hope to those who need it, and work to ensure that our day-to-day -day heroes are around as long as they can be. To those of you who want to become physical therapists, I've seen firsthand what therapy can do. Thanks to people like you, my aunt can go home. And I've seen many other miraculous recoveries during my internship at a rehab clinic. To those of you who want to become athletic trainers, We've learned time and time again that exercise can often be as effective as any drug. It can prevent some of the leading causes of death like heart disease in the U.S. To those of you in health education, I ask, what is more important than the advancement of knowledge? That is why we're here. Continue to use your talents to promote to the world why health is so vital to us all. To those in sport management, Nothing unifies us all quite like sports. It raises people's spirits and helps get them through the day. As the world recovers and sports return, they're going to need your expertise. Lastly, to those in tourism, hospitality, and event management, tourism is amongst the world's greatest sources of livelihood and leisure. It's the top industry in our state. When the world recovers and people relive their dreams to travel, they're going to need you. Help people to create the memories that last with them for a lifetime. We are all needed in this recovering world. Amongst the final words I have to say is thank you. Thank you to the graduation committee who allowed me to speak here today. Thank you to my amazing professors who gave me so much knowledge. 
if I thanked all of you who I've had great experiences under, I would be here all day. Thank you to my parents and the rest of my family for supporting and pushing me to better myself. And thank you to my fellow graduates. Thank you for being a part of the College of HHP in the great University of Florida and proving that you want to help the world. Continue to do what all of the HHP graduates have done before us. Continue to advance how we live, work, and play. And continue to make the world a better place in your own special ways. With all of that said, I only have two more words that I'd like to say to all of you. Go Gators! Thank you, Mr. Hutchins. Now we've arrived at the moment you've eagerly awaited, the conferring of degrees. I'd like to welcome our Associate Dean for Academic and Student Affairs, Dr. Chris Janelle. Chris. Thank you, Dean Reed. It is my honor to present the candidates for the Doctor of Philosophy, Master of Science, and Bachelor of Science degrees. Will the candidates for the Doctor of Philosophy degree please rise? Dean Reed, these candidates have completed all of the requirements for the Doctor of Philosophy degree and having been recommended by the graduate faculty of the College of Health and Human Performance, are presented to you for the conferring of their degree. On behalf of the people of the state of Florida, by the powers vested in me by the UF Board of Trustees, I am pleased to confer upon you the Doctor of Philosophy degree with the accompanying rights, privileges, and responsibilities. I offer you my congratulations and I commend you to the Fellowship of Educated Individuals. Will the candidates for the Master of Science degree please rise? Dean Reed, these candidates have completed all of the requirements for the Master of Science degree and having been recommended by the graduate faculty of the College of Health and Human Performance are presented to you for the conferring of their degrees. On behalf of the people of the state of Florida, by the powers vested in me by the UF Board of Trustees, I'm pleased to confer upon you the Master of Science degree with the accompanying rights, privileges, and responsibilities. I offer you my congratulations and I commend you to the Fellowship of Educated Members of Society. Will the candidates for the Bachelor of Science degree please rise? Dean Reed, these candidates have completed all of the requirements for the Bachelor of Science degree and having been recommended by the faculty of the College of Health and Human Performance are presented to you for the conferring of their degrees. On behalf of the people of the state of Florida, by the powers vested in me by the UF Board of Trustees, I'm pleased to confer upon you the Bachelor of Science degree with the accompanying rights, privileges, and responsibilities. I offer you my congratulations, and I commend you to the Fellowship of Educated Members of Society. We will now recognize our summer 2020 graduates. Names will be presented by Dr. Josie Algren, Master Lecturer in the Department of Applied Physiology and Kinesiology. Doctor of Philosophy, Dr. Ori Faber, mentored by Professor Heather Gibson. Dr. Benjamin Berry, mentored by Professor Robert Lehman. Dr. Tessa Fro, mentored by Professor Robert Lehman. Dr. Jisok Lim, mentored by Professor Dimitra Christou. Dr. Yu Nu, mentored by Professor Heather Gibson. Dr. Jay Santos, mentored by Professor Michael Sagas. Dr. Abigail Schmidt, mentored by Professor Chris Haas. Dr. Li Zhuan Su, mentored by Professor Svetlana Stepchenkova. Dr. Liu Yu Wang, mentored by Professor Angelica Almeida Zambrano. Dr. Yu Hua Xu, mentored by Professor Lori Pennington Gray. Dr. Hong Ping Zhang, mentored by Professor Heather Gibson. Congratulations to our Doctor of Philosophy degree recipients. Master of Science, Christian Garcia, Connor Lawn, Stephen Knowles, Kelly Flowers, Leah Knight, 
Jillian Lamb. Ibrahim Alaidi. Brad Amundsen. Brogan Barr. Kirsten Bonsell. Austin Bubb. Frank Curcio. Michael Finney. Taylor Hepner, Ricardo Hurtado, Sam Johnson, Philip Kang, Vanessa Kara, Samuel Casper, Aiden Kessler. Jillian Lechner, Ronnie Milligan, Ashley Symington, Edward Walker, Masato Yakoda, Jean Dozo, Xuan Zhang. Congratulations to our Master of Science recipients. Bachelor of Science, Jordana Abugadis, Alicia Bisplinghoff, Heather Bradford, Nicole Caruso, Veronica Coley, Thomas Di Paola, Aria De Souza, Sean Doherty, Taylor Doherty, Parker Edwards, Sydney Ierly, Anthony Emmett. Cameron Fails, Jaron Fevrier, Matthew Gabriel, Caitlin Garcia, Jornicia Gonzalez, Morgan Griffiths, Isabel Harrison, Andy Ho, Ashley Hoover, Blake Hutchins, Monique Issa, Lila Jiang, Bethany Jones, Abby Kelly. Maris Kenny, Matthew Klein, Carla Caseda, Daniel Lai, Karshana Laporte, Catherine Lafersky, Evan Love. Chase Massey, Christian McLaren, Ali Muhammad, Nicole Najim, Jason Najomian, Melanie Pasqual, Het Patel. Orlando Perez, Moises Pichardo, Casey Rhodes, K. 
Haley Rosen, Dimitri Shurik, Emily Surgener, Kristen Thomas, Margaret Ton, Samantha Trinchetto, Lindsay Warnock, Michael Weaver, Elisar Zainadine, Michael Acosta, Phyllis Anderson, Francis Angelis, Hyun Bak. Katie Bennett, Taylor Bickmeyer, Seth Blake, Whitney Birchfield, Elise Caesar, Megan Chant, Hia Chowdhury. Ryan Clark, Kirsten Cosio, Lauren Diaria, Hannah Deduya, Belen de la Fleur, Gina De Sanctis, Sheridan Dressel. Morgan Gumbel, Madeline Howe, Andy Johnson, Emily Karras, Aaron Chrysler, Karshana Laporte, Perlene Matherin, Madison McCauley, Emily Morales, Micah Munoz, Laura Myers, Reagan Popst, Bladen Potter, Jessica Riccadelli, Sky Richards, Roxanne Saunders, Lindsay Schultz, Brooke Sender, Morgan Serio, Alejandra Serrano, Wanda Solomon. Keely Stansel, Ashley Sullivan, Devin Sushal, Natalie Thomas, Melinda Tran, Veronica Trunk, Crystal Vasquez. Kion White, Leanne Wong, Emily Wu, Savannah Amparo, Kevin Anderson, Catherine Arcaris, Brandon Bacar. Travis Bejlevec, Jared Brewster, Christopher Cafaro, Giovanni Casario, Eugene Chung, 
Daniel Chiarelli, Matthew Clark, William Clauser, Jason Club, Matthew Davis, Carson Early, Austin Eckhart, Robert Everett, Alex Farrow, Ted Fernandez, Brian Fiata, Logan Flowers, Matthew Garcia, Aaron Gordon, Justin Horbach, Ashley Houston, Samuel Howard, Johannes Ingoldson, Connor Kesselring, Corey Kingsbury, Madison Kittel, Lachlan Klein, Darren Latori, Xavier Leal, Kenneth Leon, Vivaldi Luisaint, Sebastian Medina, Benjamin Murray, Eric Myers, Josie Page, Mark Pennington, Gianna Quillen, Daniel Ridgeway, Jacob Roberts, Michael Rosales, Grace Ann Rosen, Nicole Shepard, Nicholas Stellicone, Ijia Wong, Rebecca Warmus, Eric Wendell, Shihu Wu, Savannah Alberti, Sarah Alexander. Nicole Quesado, Brandon Savetti, Julia Clow, Regine Coloso, Joseph Cucci, Ariel Ellison, Heather Fox, Shauna Gray, Norman Ho, Kaylee Jones, Victoria Paulus, Jacob Palalian, Haley Powell, Lauren Scannell, Jack Solace, Lindsay Stout, and our final HHP graduate this summer 2020 class, Chelsea Stillwell. Congratulations to our Bachelor of Science degree recipients. Family and friends, it's my pleasure to present to you the University of Florida College of Health and Human Performance Summer Class of 2020. Graduates, although you may leave our college with your degree, the University of Florida and College of Health and Human Performance will always be your home. 
We pray that you return and see us as soon as we're able to be together safely. Thank you for participating in this commencement exercise and congratulations, class of 2020. In a moment, we'll sing the alma mater. Greetings HHP graduates and congratulations. Regardless of your pathway to and through the College of Health and Human Performance, you now share the common bond of having survived and in most cases thrived your undergraduate and or your graduate programs in HHP. And you should be very proud to consider yourself among a distinguished and long list of HHP alumni. Your HHP family is so very proud of you and we look forward to seeing you soon and as frequently as possible back here at the Florida gym. Until then, very best wishes in all of your future endeavors. Take good care and as always, go Gators.